Hi guys and welcome back in my channel. This is a very fast tutorial about the back face culling effect. So the feature that allows you to see through faces while you are in the viewport or when you make a render. So imagine you have a room like this and this is a simple cube added with the shift A mesh cube. And inside we have a light that you can see in the outliner. And now we are in the solid mode, as you can see here with this button. And I'm going to show you how to enable or make this backface sculling in the three condition of the viewport. So the solid mode, the preview mode and the render mode. So to enable this feature in the solid mode, it's very important to have the correct direction of the normal of, your, of the faces of your mesh. And in this case, as you can see, if I enabled from these uh, viewport overlays the face orientation, the blue color describes the normal is pointing outwards the face and this is not good for the back face culling feature so you need to invert these uh, normals to have the benefit of this feature and to do this we can go to the edit mode with tab press a to select all shift n to recalculate the normals and flag the inside to have the opposite direction of the normals in this case all red in this way we can go here in the viewport shading and enable this option back face culling and as you can see we can see through the walls of this room okay of this cube and why is this feature important for us because when you have a light like this maybe you want to maintain the bounces and the interaction of the lights with all the walls without deleting any face of your mesh and this is very important for your environment now i'm going to deselect the face orientation and we can go in the preview mode so if i go in the preview mode as you can see we have the entire room without this feature and uh, i force this face to have a different material than the other faces because i want to show you the difference using this feature or delete these faces so as you can see we have this object with two materials the white and the red and i want to see through this uh, cube and to have this uh, result we needed to go in the shading editor and uh, as you can see we have the red material and to see through this uh, cube we needed to add the geometry input node that has this back facing value it can be zero or one depending on the direction of the normal so one side of each face has a value of back facing zero and the other side of the face will have the value of a one from this attribute and in this way we can add the transparent material shift control and right drag between these two nodes to create a mixer shader and link this back facing in the factor and in this way if you have an opposite result you can switch these two shader and as you can see now i'm seeing through this red wall and we can do the same for this other material so we can select from this slot the white material add another time and geometry node add another transparent node shift the right and drag between these two and link the back facing in the factor and this is the result now i'm seeing through the walls but now the problem is i'm not seeing any red light why because the ev engine i'm using now in the preview mode can calculate in the right way the lights bounces and the interaction of the lights if you are seeing the object inside your scene and the colors inside your screen space and as you can see if i go in this way you can see the red light disappears but you can see now the interaction in the cube to have the same result in the final render we can go in the render view that in this moment uh, is using uh, the cycles uh, engine and as you can see we have the same result okay i can see through the cube and we can see the red light from this face and this is the difference between use uh, this feature and uh, deleting the face because if i take this uh, cube i go in the edit mode select this face press x to delete this face as you can see i have no interaction with the emission of this face even i'm able to see through these walls so 
control Z to undo this operation. And this is the feature. In the solid mode, you can go here in the viewport shading and enable the backface scaling. Keep in mind, uh, if you switch from the layout and the shading, all the 3D viewport panel you have inside your scene need to have this feature enabled. Otherwise, you can see through these walls in the solid mode. Then in the preview mode, you can use this technique. And remember, the direction of the normal of the mesh is important only in the solid mode, because only in this mode you can see through these walls. Whereas in the other two modes, the preview mode and the render mode can work if I invert the normals of these meshes. Indeed, if I go in the edit mode, Press A to select all these faces and Shift N to renormalize this uh, face. And I show the face orientation. And as you can see, we have all blue. The solid mode doesn't work, but in the preview mode, if I switch this mixed shader between the emission and the transparent, as you can see, all works. And I need to do the same with the white. And if I switch these two shader, I can have the same result in the preview and in the cycles. And that's it. Thank you guys for your support. Now we are a family of 3000 subscribers and I really appreciate your help and your feedback that allow me to make a better channel and better content for you. See you to the next tutorial. Bye.